Hello, you guys. I'm going to talk about uh, Civil 3D styles in this segment. And uh, there's a couple of things I want to go over. I want to go talk about templates and styles. I want to talk about object styles, label styles, how to change styles, and how layers work with styles because that's really important and uh, that'll really help you understand how to apply and, and edit styles within Civil 3D. So let's get started. Now, uh, I got that project drawing open that uh, I had open before. And again, you can get to that from the uh, O drive on shared data. CAD 308, it's stuck in that uh, CAD 308 folder. So open that guy up. You'll have this. Uh, now, I've got a number of different uh, objects in my drawing. Okay, so remember, if I want to see what objects or data are currently stored in my file, I'm going to go to the Prospector tab. And in the Prospector tab, will list me all my points, for instance. It shows me all my points there. If I, if I hold my points over top of that uh, little uh, icon there, it'll give me an idea as far as how many points are in that drawing. It says 5,346 points in this file. And uh, I can expand out surfaces. It shows me I have a number of different surfaces, a few alignments built in this particular subdivision, etc, uh, etc. Et now, that's, that's the data itself. That's the actual objects. So how many points, how many surfaces, how, how that surface is made up, what objects make up that surface. The settings tab, as you know, control how those objects look. Okay, so the settings tabs are very important. Now remember, in Civil 3D, we do not use layers uh, to symbolize our objects. We use styles. And uh, very rarely would you ever have to go into the layer manager and uh, start editing up sty uh, layers to try to display your data. Okay, everything is controlled through the styles, and that's kind of hard to get over, especially being a, as an AutoCAD users. But you want to try to move away from layers and uh, move into into styles. And if you find yourself consistently going into the layer properties or or editing up layers this through through your layer properties manager, it's probably not a good idea. Okay, so so you shouldn't have to go in there too often. Let's take a look at my surface. So I got a surface on my screen here. I've got a number of surfaces uh, displayed, but I have one shown uh, on my screen here. And if I select it, um, it'll highlight it. And notice my surface is all one object. It's not a, whole, a bunch of separate lines for each contour. It's one single object that's one surface. And if I right click on that surface, I can go into my surface properties. So one thing you should remember in Civil 3D is if you ever forget anything, just try right-clicking. Usually you can get to wherever you need to be. I'm going to go into my surface properties. And uh, in my surface properties shows me some information. I'm going to stick into the information tab for now. But notice here, right now, it says the way you have your surface styled is using contours 2 and 10 foot. Okay, But I also have a whole list of other styles that I can display these styles at. And if you take a look, these same styles in this drop-down box are the same ones that are listed over in the Settings tab. So if I come over into the Settings tab, those same styles are listed here, okay, in this section here. But uh, if you want to switch styles quickly, a couple of ways you can do it is you can select the object, and this works the same for points or profiles or anything else in Civil 3D. You can select your object on your screen, right click, go to the object properties, in this case it's a surface, so we're surface properties, and then you can change the style here, just like flipping the page of a book. So if I wanted to go to five uh, foot contour intervals, I go ahead and select five, say OK, and notice that my surface instantly changes. You can also go to your, get to your pro object properties by in the Prospector tab. So if I want to find that same surface, if I want to know what kind of surface it is or what the name of that surface is, I just hold my mouse over top. It says the name of that tin surface is existing ground. That's the one that's being displayed right now. So I'm going to go into my Prospector tab, and sure enough, there's existing ground. And uh, I right-click on it and I can go to surface properties the same box so you can select the object on the screen or pick it from the prospector tab and then go ahead and select so if I wanted to do some elevation ranges I could pick elevation banding say okay 
and it changes the look of my surface. So it's very easy once you've got those styles created. And remember, that's why I said use a Civil 3D template, because if you don't have the Civil 3D template, you're going to have to make all these styles from scratch, every one of them, okay? And that's a lot. So uh, we don't want to do that. That's too much work. Now I'm going to go back and just change this surface style back to uh, contour so I can see it a little bit easier. I'm going to go back to my two foot contour intervals here. Now I wanted to talk about how layers work with your styles. So I mentioned before that if you want to change how something looks, we can use one of the existing styles here. If I wanted to make a new style, I can do that. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to uh, create a new contour style with maybe uh, uh, 10 and 50 foot contour intervals. If that's the case, I have two options. I can either right click on surface styles and go new and I can start building uh, styles from scratch, that particular style. I have to set all the settings over again. The other option I have is I can copy an existing style. So if I have one that I already like, I can just copy it and tweak it a little bit and that'll that'll uh, be quite a bit faster. So I can right click, I can edit that existing style if I want and make changes to it. Remember though that if you decide to edit an existing style like this one right here, make any changes to it, um, maybe you decide to change uh, how some of those contours look. Well, if you change the color of it, guess what? It's going to change it on the screen in real time, and uh, those contours now will show your, your changes that you've reflected. So I'm going to right-click on that, and uh, probably the fastest is to copy that style. So rather than make it from scratch, I'm just going to right-click the style, go copy, and uh, give it a new name. Okay, so I can get rid of that copy option, and I can call this... Uh, maybe 10 and 50 foot contours okay and then in there I can select apply and notice that I have for my surface style if we want to focus on surfaces I have a whole bunch of different tabs in different ways I can display my surface and there's a whole bunch of different options here I can show it using contours which is what I'm doing right now I can use a grid I can sh show it using surface points or triangles or watersheds etc so I'm gonna go into the contours section here and I'm just going to change up my contour interval to 10 and 50 okay and uh, I've got some other options here I can smooth out my contours if I like or uh, you know take the smoothing out it adds a little bit more options in there but uh, you have to turn your smoothing on first and then you can go ahead and make those contours real smooth so they're not so zigzaggy say okay and uh, I've made a new style now Okay, so I should have a 10 and 50 foot. There it is. But that's a, I created that in my settings tab. I still have to apply that style to my surface. So it's kind of a two-step process. Create or edit the style first and then apply it to the surface or object if that object isn't currently using that style. So again, we just go into our surface properties. We select the object, right click, go to surface properties, and from there I can change it to a... Uh, 10 and 50 foot background and say okay and uh, there we go you've just changed your style all right that's it for that uh, check out styles part two I'm gonna go over some uh, additional things as well so thanks for watching